Hi and welcome to the second episode of In the Studio with the Thrill Seekers. In this show, what we're going to do is um, take a look at um, the remix that I made for Chicane and their track Poppy Holler and really kind of run through the tracks to show you how each section is kind of built up. So we'll maybe start looking at the drums and then look at some of the, the synths and the bass and uh, some of the tricks I use in my productions. So, uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the arrangement inside Cubase. Um, to make things uh, more clear on the screen, what I've done is grouped all my drums and effects into one folder. So if I expand the folder there, you can see all the various layers that are going on, quite a few. And beneath that we have all the bass also in one folder and the synths and so on. Um, so let's have a quick play through the track just so you can become familiar with the sound. Um, we'll start somewhere near the beginning. Okay, uh, I'll just go forward a little, let's say, to the piano in the breakdown. Okay, and just a little bit towards the end of the track. Um, let's go from here. It's actually my favourite bit of the track where this kicks back off again. Okay, um, so that's a quick overview. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is actually take a look inside the drums folder and see how that's kind of made up and what kind of sounds we can find in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just mute the other groups or stems as they're often called. Um, okay, so when starting any remix, I normally start with um, the drums and uh, no better place to start really than the kick drum. Uh, what I have in this particular track is two kick drums. So I'll just play those from here. And as well as the kick drum, we have lots of high up percussion going on. And more loops, which I've kind of created. And various effects. So that's basically how the drums are built up. Um, I think I mentioned in the last episode that I use battery for drums, so we can just kind of see battery working there. So I'll just solo the entire drums uh, group and you can see all the uh, samples being triggered there. Okay, so let's take a look in the next folder which is um, the bass. And let's just zoom out so we can see what's going on with the arrangement. So the first bass which um, is in the track is um, a synth called Vanguard. And, okay, if I just solo that for you, and we can actually take a look at the synth as well. Um, for interest about the track, the, the filter opens up like this. Kind of, you know, in key places to kind of increase intensity and other stuff. Um, okay, so what other bass parts do we have? Okay, so um, on separate tracks, I also have the same sound, but... Um, the, this synth is actually going to uh, different effects, so it's kind of plays on top. So if I actually play both Vanguard basses, you'll hear what's going on here. So although it's the same sound, um, they're playing kind of different parts, I guess. And there's actually another couple of tracks doing very similar things further in. Um, so, so okay, that's pretty much the bass. So let's have a look at the synths now and what's going on here. Uh, the first synth that you hear in the track is this mini stab, um, so I'll just solo that. And this is coming from uh, this synth, um, which is called Mini Monster. Um, it's got a kind of really dirty raw sound. If I turn up the, the frequency here, it kind of gives that really kind of grainy, edgy sound. So um, love that kind of stuff. Uh, next we have another part which is on the mini monster so I'll play that as well again there's kind of a bit of a distortion going on which is like a one of the, the character of this synth particular synth 
Um, going even further, we have um, we have like a pad here, which is um, playing from Omnisphere, I believe. It's about to start any time now. I promise you. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to just unmute a few more parts so you can hear them. Here we go. All the kind of sounds that are happening at the start of the track. And also, there's uh, an arpeggio here. Okay, so that kind of um, wraps that up really. Um, in, uh, in future episodes, I'd like to go into further detail and talk a little bit about how some of the sounds actually created and how I've used effects to make them sound the way they do with, you know, you know for phasing and uh, reverb and delays, for example. Um, so yeah, we'll be getting a lot more into that in later episodes. Okay, so that's how I approach remixing. I really want to make this show interactive as possible, so what I've done is collected a lot of the sounds together from batteries, so mainly the drum sounds and some effects, and made them available via my website. So if you'd like to get your hands on those for your own productions, go to the website and then um, you'll find them in the music production forum. Uh, also on there are a bunch of sounds which um, are from my previous productions, uh, I seem to remember uh, making the sounds available for uh, Rapid Eye Circle Forever and a few other things. So. Do check it out. Um, I'd love to know also what you'd like me to cover in future episodes, whether you'd like a tutorial on how to make the drums and bass work together, or how to approach making certain sounds, then do let me know. So the forum's a great place to be able to do that. And do contribute to the forum, it's a great place. Um, I think that kind of wraps things up for this show, so um, I'll see you on the next one as soon as possible. Okay, bye.